Recently, I purchased a new computer. Sometimes it's just time for an upgrade, you know? After I got it all set up, the question quickly became, what game do I play first to break this baby in? It's an important decision. You gotta start a new computer off on the right foot, after all. I must admit, it didn't take me long to decide that the first game I should play on my brand new HP Vectra is a game starring one of my favorite gaming icons, Pajama Sam. Pajama Sam 2, Thunder and Lightning aren't so frightening to be specific. I've already talked about my all-time favorite junior adventure, Pajama Sam and It's No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside, in a previous video. Before we get to the game though, let's take a moment to appreciate what the game's box includes. It can be hard to remember, but before the Kickstarter and pre-order bonus crazes swept the video game world, you actually used to be able to get some pretty neat stuff just for buying a game. Inside the beautifully designed big box, there's a really cool activity book. And if these activities aren't quite doing it for you, just flip it over and it becomes a Pajama Man comic book. Freaking sweet. There's also a really cool set of stickers and a product catalog that's just too neat to not look through. I used to love looking at game advertisements and product catalogs, and I guess I still do because this is pretty rad. Hold it right there, Earthquaker. Your low-calorie threats mean nothing to me! Not so fast, Dust Devil! Pajama Man! Sam is chowing down on cereal, solving puzzles, and watching his favorite superhero, Pajama Man, on TV. He's basically living the dream right now. Much like the first game, Sam will be using the power of his imagination to tackle one of his fears. Last time, he fell into his bedroom closet and conquered his fear of the dark. This time, he'll be heading into the attic to beat his fear of thunder and lightning. Maybe next time, if we're lucky, we can head to the bathroom to fight my fear of rejection. That sounds like it'd be helpful. Pajama Sam 3, I have to pee and everybody hates me. Eh, okay, maybe not. Wow. So this is where all the weather comes from. Welcome one and all to Worldwide Weather, where whether or not you wish to weather the weather, you, uh, they make the weather. Hi. What do you want? I'd like to go inside, please. Are you an employee? No. Sorry, no visitors. If you've never played a junior adventure game before, this first obstacle is a great introduction. I can't get past the gate, but a box-moving tractor sure can. Grab the crowbar, hide in the box, and away we go. We're here now. And hey, that sure looks like something I should borrow. Worldwide Weather Employee Identification Card. Foster Boondoggle. Do not lose this card. Maybe there's a lost and found somewhere where I can turn this in. Sure, Sam, sure, that's what we're doing here, just collecting things for the lost and found. That's a perfect alibi. Oh, and hey, what's that over there? I don't know about you, but that sure looks like the lost and found to me. Oh my god, Sam, how are you afraid of thunder and lightning, but not this nightmare? Uh-oh, I think it ate the card. Oh, 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 Sam, man, you're, you're killing me. Oh, calm down, would you, dear? It's just a little boy. Um, I'll be honest here. I'm not really a fan of these two. I mean, Thunder is fine and all, although Cloudface would probably be a more appropriate name, but Lightning is just... I can't take the shrieking, man. I don't do shrieking. If we're being honest, I barely do talking. Not really a fan, but shrieking is definitely out of the question. I'm Pajama Sam! I've come to put a stop to this thunderstorming business. Oh yeah, I think we've really outdone ourselves this time. I do enjoy a good storm, and it will be so helpful for the plants and things. Thunder and Lightning explain that although scary, thunderstorms will be so helpful for the plants and things, which is apparently news to Sam. I never... Yeah! No! Oh, oh no! Not the red button! button. 
Oh no, the red button that we're facing away from now, right? What are we looking at? Pajama Sam's pajamaed butt has pressed the strangely prominent and unobstructed big red button, which basically means the whole world is toast. Oh my gosh, look at this weather! Hurricanes in Egypt! Tornadoes in Toledo! This is going to take everything we've got. Is Cloudface giving anyone else Hie from Yu Yu Hakusho vibes? I don't know, something about her voice? Maybe that's just me. Anyway, since Sam likely doomed all life on Earth, it only makes sense that he should help fix it, right? To do that, Sam has to retrieve four important pieces of various worldwide weather, weather-making equipment equipment. Oh, I mean, just, just one equipment there. There's Wingnut, Mushroom head, a weeble maybe, and why? We can also collect these puzzle pieces that are scattered throughout the game, though it's entirely optional. It's just for people who enjoy collecting things. The world of worldwide weather is bright and bright and just so very, very bright. It really stands out to me because the previous game was very dark in comparison. Everything had this dark blue and purple vibe that I really loved and it complemented Sam's colors. Much like real life, I prefer the indoor, darker sections of the game to the brighter, sunnier sections. Not to mention that he's Pajama Sam, it just makes sense that he would exist mainly in a nighttime setting because pajamas. Even so, the art style is still my favorite of the humongous games, with crazy perspectives and dark shadows where appropriate, and the animation, of course, is top-notch. So let's get started collecting these items we need, shall we? Near a machine that bottles wind, there's a yellow fellow who's looking a bit tired. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam! Hi, Snowflake Inspector. You're the automated snowflake inspector? No, inspector detector. Call me, Sid. It's shorter. You look awfully tired. I'm feeling a bit run down. I need something to eat. Sam obviously knows something I don't. Automated snowflake inspector? I don't know what that is. I definitely feel like this game is starting out a bit less Linear's not the right word, it just seems cluttered, especially the outdoor section of the game. I find all these sky platforms very similar looking, and it makes it really easy to get turned around and confused. I don't know that I ever felt confident that I was going in the right direction, I was more just wandering around until I ended up at the building that I wanted to be at. Nevertheless, I arrive at a giant coffee machine that produces canned sunlight, and I put two and two together. This is probably the food that Sid wants. He's probably solar powered or something. Here, I brought you some food. Can't open it. Oh wow, you're just living the hardest life right now, aren't you? Like most can openers, to get to this one, we first have to get past a talking chair. Hi, I'm Pajama Sam. I'm you helping. Have an Appointment? Wow, we opening cans and making appointments? Who knew saving the world was so fun? Certainly. Let me check his calendar. Yes, Mr. Someone is available immediately. I'll pencil you in. Mr. Someone is a chair. I'm not sure if I'm missing a joke somewhere on that one, but he's currently having a board meeting. Ha ha ha. I guess you're the boss, right? I'm the chairman of the board. Yes. Oh, I get it, because he's the chairman of the board! He's also irrelevant in this playthrough, as far as I can tell. Like other humongous adventures, Pajama Sam 2 changes slightly on repeat playthroughs. The objects that you need to find and the characters that are important to you change, and in this game it looks like you can even select which configuration of key objects that you'd like to play. I don't think you could do that in the last game, and I'm not sure that I'd ever use this feature. I kind of like the randomness, honestly. The can opener that we're trying to find is located in the break room along with the Y-pipe, who I'll complain about a bit later. With our can of sunshine now open, we can head back and re-energize Sid. Now all we have to do is locate the snowflake inspector. Now where do you think he'd be hiding? Toilet! He's in the toilet, obviously, watching people poop. 
I'm not going back there. They don't appreciate me. Aw, oh, is my little toilet man feeling underappreciated? Maybe my pitch for Pajama Sam 3 isn't as off base as I thought. Here you go, buddy. Take this ribbon that I found in the garbage. That seems appropriate. You've been named employee of the month. They like me. They really like me. <laughs> oh, I, I don't, uh, I don't know that I liked that there. And so Sam continues his weather quest, shrinking in size to retrieve a wingnut, rearranging boxes to retrieve a, uh, a thing. And that means all that we have left to retrieve is the Y-pipe. Hey, aren't you the Y-pipe? Yes, why do you ask? I thought so. I've been looking for you. You have? Why? Since he's stuck in a vending machine and I have a canned earthquake that I found, I put two and two together and... <sighs> Obviously, we need to get some coins to use with the vending machine first, but these stupid coins are nowhere to be found. I spent so much time wandering around, talking to people, trying to figure out if there was some errand I could run to get some spare change, to no avail. And the solution is so stupid, it's so dumb. There's a building outside that houses a weather machine whose main purpose seems to be to grow various fruits and vegetables, though you can also create different weather conditions as well. It hasn't been relevant in my playthrough at all so far, but this is where we get the money. Not by selling a fruit or veggie that we grow, but by creating a rainbow. Oh, what's this? They'll be after me gold. This feels like such a reach to me. Like, I get the logic, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow or whatever, but to connect these dots, I have to come across this rainbow page, know that I need the coins, and then say, hey, I bet if I do this, a pot of gold is gonna pop up. Either that, or just come across it by trial and error, doing every single recipe just because I'm stuck, and that's no fun. Nevertheless, we can now retrieve the Y-pipe, and now that all the important weather machinery is back where it's supposed to be, the world is saved, or whatever. Sam, thank you so much for all your help. You fixed the last machine just in time. Obviously, this was just an overview of the game. I didn't cover everything that I did, or all the characters, or anything like that. But after I finished my playthrough, I gotta say, Pajama Sam 2, Thunder and Lightning Aren't So Frightening was a mixed bag for me. On the one hand, it is a Pajama Sam game, features the original Sam voice, and was pretty fun to play through from a gameplay standpoint. Vending machine change aside, it has some great characters, and the animation, as always, is tough top notch. I also appreciated all the references to the previous games sprinkled about, and there's some pretty smart writing in here too. Jokes that went over my head the first time even though I'm way above the recommended age group. That's pretty cool. But I do have some gripes and will now partake in some general nitpickery. Along with not really liking the layout or bright color palette of this outdoor section, I'm also not a fan of the music out here. I definitely think there's a piece missing here. It's not a bad song, but on loop it definitely becomes an annoying one, and when I think Pajama Sam, I don't exactly think aggressive kettle drums. I think jazz or easy listening. There's some appropriate Pajama Sam music in the game for sure, but this is the track that I heard most often, and I just didn't really like it. If we want to venture even further into the land of small complaints, I find it kind of disappointing that this game isn't actually about Sam overcoming his fear. He's afraid of thunder and lightning at first, but they meet up early in the game, and it quickly becomes less about conquering his fear, and more about cleaning up the mess that his butt made. Anyway, enough complaining. I don't want you to think that I hate the game, it's just that I love Pajama Sam 1 so much and I'm so nostalgic for it that it's just a tough act to follow. PJ Sam 2 is still an amazing piece of edutainment. A step or two or three or five above most educational games of the time has aged incredibly well. I definitely recommend it not only to children, but to adventure game fans looking for a casual game. And it leaves me excited to talk about Pajama Sam 3 sometime in the future.